Okay, so we're on this new planet. What's this called again? Darren. On Darren? This game ran a lot of PvP. Nice, nice. Yeah, I've, I'm uh, currently a returning player, so I'm just getting back into it. Trying to figure out if there's any like 6.0 guides, um, things like that, pretty much. So, doing onslaught. Yep, I I'm literally just starting it. Um, I just did the hearts and mind mission, and then that was pretty much it. Uh, I kind of just getting some familiarization back onto the game, uh, seeing what's what. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they they have a lot of information on like what exactly changed so i just been asking uh like imperial fleet chat things like that like what the new item rating was um apparently there's a tactical which i haven't gotten and then i i read or watched a video about amplifiers haven't really uh found much information about that either but welcome back to the game yeah thanks thank you alexander um but yeah, kind of just like slowly. Also, I'm kind of just waking up like the last two hours or so. I feel a little bit like sleepy. Not like 100%, but a little bit. Not as awake as I should be, <laughs> but I'm here. Highest item rating is 308, if I remember correctly. From chat, uh, or from what they were saying, they yeah, 306 is what I saw. Um, do either of you know of any 6.0 guides at all? I've only gotten one response. Like, I can find a bunch of, uh, older ones that are, um, like, they're all f late 5.4 or 5.6 or something like that, but I haven't found any, like, character guides for 6. Um, what I was about to just do is go through the legacy stuff uh nice so i still get a bunch of renown boosts warzone flashpoint have all of that what is this your personal cargo hold some basic personal cargo hold droid Redeployment time is extensive. Okay. Uh, fuel droid. There are a few of them, but it's hard to make proper guides as they're aiming for more playstyle oriented approach, which is great, but it's also a step away from the norm. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's what I've been. I A lot of people have been saying, honestly, just like forget the guides and just play what you want. And that's what it seems like it's going, anyways. So, I guess. I, if anything, I'll pull up like an older guide and see if that works. It's like I, I like I don't like 100% following guides for the most part, but as far as like abilities, things like that, a lot of times I feel like guides can can definitely help you like get that max damage, you know, or health or healing, you know. So that's that's really the only reason I I do try to follow guides here and there. Um, don't want that. Is there anything new under the legacy tab? I know they changed some stuff. Character perks. I feel like I should pick up something because I don't have a lot on this character. Uh, improved exploration. But I'm also going to level up so fast, I don't know if it's worth doing. Capital World Shuttle. Can you actually, like, just straight up travel to any planet? Like, any time? You can. Wait, really? Oh, no, 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 don't want to go back. <laughs> Wait, so if I, like, just straight up, like, okay, I click on Terrace. Wow. I didn't know you could just straight up travel them. I thought you had to still go to the ship, and then once you got to the ship, then you select it, then you go to it. Not just from the galaxy map. That's pretty cool. You can they, they can help out, surprisingly, a lot. Sometimes. Yeah, for sure. 
dinner time for me. Have an amazing stream. I shall I be working. Hey, Alexander, Alexander, thank you again for the, um, the, Senate, the raid and all. Really do appreciate it. And have a good soon. dinner, and I'll I be here. So. What it suits me. Appreciate we it, have matters to discuss. When do you think it would suit you to return? You overstep, Senator. It is your job to share my decisions with the Republic, not to question them. Do not bother me again! Again? The nobles meddling was bad enough without Nebet to stir them up further. This is intolerable. Am I not king? Do I not rule this world? They clearly don't uh, respect your power, not. dear king. And to send the senator back here. Perhaps the Republic believes you need more supervision. But you need not concern yourself. I have brought a powerful ally to ensure nothing comes of your enemy's plans. Allow me to introduce the Alliance Commander. I look forward to aiding you in your hour of need, King Petriv. Excellent, excellent. I'm sure you're quite capable. <sighs> yeah, if we can now get rid of this guy, I don't utterly like him. <laughs> A hearty meal will aid in my recovery. Do enjoy your visit. Whoa. That's a sick statue. As you can see, the king all but eats from my hand. He is the key to our victory here. Onderon's capital is equipped with powerful defensive cannons that could easily destroy the Republic fleet in orbit. The cannons cannot be operated remotely, but... If we spur the king into a civil war against his nobles, the distraction will suffice. We will infiltrate the capital amid the chaos of battle, seize control of the guns, and eradicate the Republic fleet before they even realize they're in danger. Sounds like a plan. What's our next step? Petrif already suspects that his nobles are moving against him. We need to push that paranoia further. Through intermediaries, I have hired a band of mercenaries to infiltrate the hunting lodge and assassinate the king. Fortunately, you will swoop in to defeat these deadly attackers just in time. Of you will so. save the king, earn his trust, and push him further from his nobles all at once. Simple enough. When do they arrive? If my calculations are accurate, the mercenaries will arrive any moment now. I'll be happy to guide you to them over the comm. Good luck. That was like an ending to the uh, like uh All fixed up. Similar to a Hitman mission. There's your mission, Agent 47. Good luck. Get it done. Alright, so we need to intercept the assassins. So I'm confused. What exactly is our goal here to like are we trying to get rid of that dude? First phase of the Empire's plan is to weaken the Republic reinforcements is to convince uh Petra of ruling monarch of Ondaran that the nobil nobility plans to overthrow him. Oh, okay. Empire must take pains to conceal their efforts on the planet or risk losing the opportunity. Guards! Help! Intruders in the palace! So do we hire They'll never reach my safe room. these guys? We might have. <laughs> It's, it seems like this uh, this old guy working fairly well. It's a lot of uh, damage over time, so we should be good, hopefully. Uh, let me grab that, and we'll go to roll quarters. So I think you unlock Renown at level 
70, uh, 75, if I remember correctly. And then, is there a quick find for the renowned stash? Okay, so that actually tells me that it's better than my current armor. Sweet. So now your armor, if it's in your inventory, it'll show you, uh, the stats. If it if it's higher, it'll have like a little plus icon next to it or an arrow pointing up. I mean, that's pretty cool. I like how that makes it very apparent. Like, hey, this is better. And then it, apparently, new gear spawns compared on uh, your your current gear. So you want to equip the better stuff, and then you can get specific. Once you get a higher level. So in that regard, let me actually equip this guy, claim it, and we'll take this too. Because supposedly these are better. Uh does it matter if we go this way? They're knocked down the entire time. Nice. Didn't even see that guy. We could go down this hallway. No, nah, I'm not gonna bother. That's not the correct way anyways. Yeah. Down this one. Trying to get into the habit of spawning all my stuff. Um, so it's rotating between the targets, hitting them with the corrosive dart and the corrosive grenade, and then uh, using the next abilities. Because if I remember correctly, that was the best rotation the last time I played. Or it was one of the, the better rotations. Now we need to do need to go to, down here. King Petrus, we are en route to All the right. throne room now. Good. Stop them and you'll be rewarded. Down. And there we go. Open up. And assassin. But how? Why? Because. Ask nothing, just leave. Don't ask questions. Take your wounded and leave while you still can. I 
take it the ruthless assassins have been dealt with. Now that the area has been secured, we can exit the safe room. Okay. Yeah, so we did call them to assassin or assassinate uh, this guy, but they failed. This is an outrage! They think they can kill me? Me! I am the king of Onderon! Once they realized your strength, Nibet and her Republic conspirators knew they could no longer hope to control you. Killing you was their only option. But I'm the king! Uh, oh my god. Yes. I have deployed my droids to defend the premises. I assure you that you're now quite But safe. I'm the king. Good, good, they can't excellent. do that. Well done, yes. Exactly what they My do king, to a king that they don't like. Your cousins, they're still at the ancient proving grounds. And? What do they have to do with any of this? It's possible they're in danger too, good king. If your enemies are attacking you, they could also target your family. But the commander who valiantly saved your life can certainly rescue your cousins as well. I will defend your cousins with my life, King Petrif. You are a worthy ally indeed. But this is also incredible, so intolerable. My blaster, I need my blaster. Oh, where did I put it? What? His gullibility exceeds even my greatest estimates. We have given him fear. Now, we must give him anger. Find the king's cousins at the ancient proving ground. Kill them. Then spread evidence that Nibet is to blame. Petrif will demand retribution, and we'll have our diversion. Why don't we, we take, should take them, them alive. prisoner instead of killing them? They might be useful later, and Petrif won't know the difference. They're even what is duller going on than with the king. His head. I doubt the effort is worthy of the gain, but do as you please, Commander. The Onderon Wilds are treacherous. You should take a guide with knowledge of the terrain. Speed is crucial. The Republic fleet is about to begin refueling, but my plan is unfolding perfectly. Victory will be ours. Oh, yes, it will be. Nice. Grab that. 71. Hey. Would you look at that? Who's that? That's Theron? What? Looks different than that. Sith Sorcerer? What is that logo? Kinda cool. Alright, so meet with Lana. Will do, will do. Commander, I believe I found a pair of local guides we can trust. Hey. Takaro, C2D4. <laughs> Better than they treated us, clearly. Hmm. We really need this. What have Let's you been doing up. since Yavin? Working for a succession of idiots and cheapskates. <laughs> I shall leave you in their capable hands, Commander. Good luck. Ah, hands. <laughs> That's just something else. Feeling a bit we just now? need to pick up a few questionably legal items to ensure all goes to plan. Do we have Luckily, to bring we've them? Made exactly the right friends. Yeah, it looks like right, it. Right, Chikaro? <laughs> the delivery should be waiting for us. All right, that's fine. Well, I don't really get a choice in that, so. Collect blaster replica. Are you going to Pax East? Yo, what's up, kidding me? How you doing? Uh, yes, I am. Hopefully. Well, I think I am. See anything you like? Um, I actually start a new job next week, so I need to. I'm gonna let them know Come again. about it, and hopefully they're like, okay, yeah, like, because it's technically pre-planned, but hopefully. 
That's the plan, at Come least. Again. The plan is to go. What? Is it still better? Oh, maybe it's this piece. Aha! There we go. You driving? Because I'll help with gas. I think I am. Uh, most likely. But I'm not sure. I mean, every other year I, I have been. If I can, I can. Uh, if I can come with. We can try and figure something out. I don't see why not, honestly. Is there anybody else going? Uh, what do I need to sell? I think we're all good on stuff. Alright. Yeah, the last two years I've driven, but I don't know where I'm going to stay at yet. Because that thing is last, pl last place uh, me and my girlfriend stayed at. It did not go over well. <laughs> we stayed it in some very just like the nobility. cheap, House is and all. weird place. That I might I might need to find a, a better place this time. It was like, or no, it was extremely hot in the room and we didn't have air conditioner. And it was like deadly. Or the opposite, I can't remember what. A few more people in Philly that I might need to go to. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you um, offline, and we can see what's what's going on for it, and figure it out then. Down with going for with a few people and stuff. Like an H two O part two. <laughs> I'm buying a ride because I'm not buying. A, uh, I'm buying a plane. If not, I'm buying a plane ticket. Okay. Yeah. It's a. I mean, it's like a five hour drive. Do these ID so. crests look a little flimsy to you? It's well, not the worst Petra thing in the world, have to fool. but now for the data pads. Our slicer know. friend promised they'll be full of authentic personal correspondences. Okay, so now we need to forge the you pay for quality Black Forge Chicago, data pads. And I had a good feeling about him. I'm an excellent judge of character. To the proving grounds. All we have to do is cross a wilderness full of horrific, bloodthirsty beasts. <laughs> no problem for you, of course. Is this on site? Oh, scavenging. Okay, I got it. Need to buy the upgrade. What is... Is it B, I think? Yeah, it is. Okay, but I can't send any companions on this yet. Uh, investigation. Where's that at? Archaeology. Synth weaving. How you been? I'm doing pretty good. Living life. Uh, like I said, I'm starting a new job next week, so my streaming schedule is going to be changing up a lot. It's going to be more like this. I'll be streaming in the mornings until like uh, a little bit before 2 p.m. And then I work pretty much all night, but I'm going to try to do more like Saturdays and Sundays too. Especially Saturdays, because uh, I'm off. I'll be off on Saturdays. Before I was working Saturdays, but I still did like afternoon streams. Other than that, it's pretty good. Chilling, waiting for. I'm ready to eat a ton of food tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Nice congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Can't seem to find. I guess they don't have a investigation. I don't think I can do slicing yet. Let's see. Scavenging arms tech, bioanalysis. Unless if there isn't a upgrade for it. So there might not be. Alright, whatever. Same. I'm sorry, yeah, dude. 
I'm excited for that. And then after that, I'm gonna try to go back onto my workout plan and diet and stuff. I mean, I'm fine with my workouts, but I need to watch my diet more or eat better. <laughs> Only one in my office right now. I should go home, to be honest. Jeez. Nobody would even know. <laughs> you could, you could. Um, I don't think it's worth doing the, the extra stuff for this. So I might just travel to the proving grounds. I wonder if there is a faster route of getting there. Yeah, I'm so happy to start. I mean, like, I hate work. I, I guess I can't really say I hate working nights, but I much prefer mornings. But I, I was literally getting to the point where, like, I, I hated what I was doing as a job and I needed a change. So, like, for the last few months, I've been searching, searching, searching. Finally found a place 10 minutes from me. Pretty much similar stuff, but it's not the same as what I was previously doing. So I'm really looking forward to starting there. Some change is gonna be very good. Or at least I'm hoping. Alright. Is that better? What have you been uh, playing on stream? Have you played like any new games or you kind of just, or do you consider yourself variety? Like, do you play a ton of stuff or are you just like, play whatever you're really feeling? Like jobs can be, yeah, they can be. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've worked in night job. So, I mean, it's a lot more than what I was previously making. So that's a bonus to it. And that's kind of like what I, what I told them, what I would need for, or to, to get hired for it they're like okay and i was like okay <laughs> i'll take it so it worked out definitely a variety okay gotcha i've been looking at that um that minion game minion masters because it keeps popping up uh every once in a while there's a lot of free to play games out there that like always catch my interest, but I've just never really played them before. Um, I think there might be actually a fast travel point. So I'm going to go over to this. Yeah, this guy. There we go. I think that's closer to where we're going. Yeah, it's fun. I've been prepping for a tournament for it. Really? Hmm. That's pretty cool. The evidence we procured. Make sure it is it just like an, an online tournament or like an actual like in person? My gratitude. Yeah. Alright, so plant the blasters, plant the data pad, and plant the ID something all right so data pad is that better plant the blasters i see the icon right there probably gonna aggro those people yep just online okay gotcha that's pretty cool so you're really into it <laughs> see i don't for me, like I, that's the thing is I, I can't stick to one game because I don't have the attention span or like, there's so many games out there that I, I always want to try this game. I've come, came back to like so many times. So I'm just like all over the place with it. Um, but like there's a new expansion that came out in October. Of course, Star Wars is all over the place right now. So I've, I've had to get back into this game. This is probably like the only game that I constantly return to. But every other game, I mean like, I usually like playing story stuff and then I play them until I finish them. And then, uh, then I move on <laughs> for the most part. There's a very rare amount 
that I return to. But it's it's not because I don't like them. It's just because I know there's so many other things out there that I want to try. I want to try new things, you know? I want to do things I haven't done before, play games I haven't done before, and experience stories I haven't... Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. Oh boy. Speaking of, I'm gonna try to get something around 12, take a little break. Nice never play this game. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a Star Wars MMO, pretty much. World of Warcraft, but in Star Wars. It's the best way to explain it. It's fun though. You get like a bunch of choices, things like that. A lot of stuff you can do. Dealing with Petra's cousins, return to me. I'm honestly surprised this game is lasting as long as it actually is. Scan for the com uplink. Is there a location that I do that from, or am I just looking into this guy? Uh, Tark or keep saying Tarkov. Wait, is that it? Or is that just a giant? Uh, being a variety streamer is fun, but difficult to grow and expensive to keep up. And expensive. Uh, difficult to grow and expensive to keep up with. Yeah, definitely is. Because you're always jumping on new things. But at the same time, the way I'd look at it too, is if you're doing variety and you're constantly jumping around other places, like you always get people, um, like you always find at least one other person that wouldn't have came across you because you just play one game. But they, yeah, that's the, the downside is somebody might come in and chat with you for one specific game, but then not another at the end of the day though you gotta play what you want to play i mean it'd be a lot easier if i stuck to one game probably but i can't do that so i'm gonna play what i want <laughs> and i'm gonna bring people along with me whether they want to or not yeah um yeah that's the one thing that is rough about it but it is what it is. I wouldn't want to... My thing is, I don't want to become... Uh, I don't want to get into a game and then not want to play it, like, two years down the line. Like, all these people that play Fortnite, like, every single day, they play Fortnite every single day. So, if they're like, oh, I'm bored of Fortnite, I want to play something else, they're probably going to see such a drop in viewership because their viewers want to play Fortnite or watch them play Fortnite. And I'm like, nah, I can't do that. I'm not going to play one game constantly. I don't even have the attention span to do something like that. Change is good in my eyes. Majority of the time. Always play you want in the end. Exactly. Exactly. Got a key. All right, get a security key from the guards. Feeling a bit better now. Just something I don't want to just play games. I want to have a mix of a lot of stuff, variety of games, paint streams, advice slash podcast stuff, and having guests. Even VR, dude. I want to do so much more VR, but I'm just like, ugh, when I, VR is where it gets me to. I've always wanted to do a podcast, also. So, I uh, that's another thing. And then, yeah, I mean, games, yes. Podcasts, yes. Uh, and VR, those are like the three things I want to be. If I do stuff like this I want to be known for I listen to podcasts all the time and it's just like I always have so much to say but I don't have anywhere to say it because 
I don't have anything like that. VR man, oh, that too. VR is fantastic. There's so many. I've I've been getting really into VR recently, or back into it again. Um, and I played a few games over the last like two or three days, and so much fun. Come to Philly with me and Lewis Benton. He has VR uh, Steam uh, stream set up. It's also an EMG. Yeah, I've I've tuned into his uh, streams a few times, like here and there. I've I've done like mainly lurking and stuff, but I've seen him a few times online. Feeling a bit better now. Actually, we're fine on health. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought I was going to fall off the edge for a second there. Where is it? It doesn't tell me where the security key is. Moving soon. If not, you should come over to planet and Let me know when it is. I, if, I mean, if it's today, I'm off or something. Yeah. I will see why not. I need. I. I try. Recently, I've been trying to be a little bit more active in the MGG. I know I'm like more of a laid back person, but like when I end my streams, I try to host somebody or like, and stick in chat for something. But usually, like the thing I'm usually doing is if I'm getting off my stream. That it's typically because like I need something else th that I need to do, so I usually like I'm in for like five minutes and then I have to head out. But like I try to when I have time to chat with some other EMGG people. I do. I've noticed a little bit more people I've been coming through here and there too. Almost every stream I get like one person. I'll be like, hey, what's up, EMGG? Though and I'm like, oh, what's up, dude? And I'm like, alright see you in a bit and I'm like alright see ya but it's pretty cool either way Not one yeah if there's closer. one going down identify sure. yourself I am thinking about that new sweatshirt that they dropped the only thing it's a little expensive for my personal taste for sweatshirts uh surrender now I'm not here to harm you but I will if you don't surrender now Surrender? Absurd! Our cousin Absurd. is the king of Onderon. All of it. My father. Dispatch this vagrant. December 23rd. Sunday. Yeah, if it's a Sunday or Saturday. I'm will good. Not harm my wards. What? Can I get it better now? Hey. Oh my. Course, uh, Maybe. I'll look. I shall check it out. Oh boy. I'll be RB. Alright, sounds good. I will be here. Playing some more of this, trying to kill this guy. Almost got him. I'm getting blown up right now. My lord. My lady. Nice. My lord. My lady. How dare you? Hey. Our cousin is the king. Coming with me. Come with me, do what I tell you, and you'll survive this. V very, very well. Lana, send a shovel and guards. I have three prisoners for you. 
Understood. I'll inform Dar Savik of your success. Lana out. Nice. A very good. Uh, okay. Return to, to Darth Salik. Okay, so he should be all the way over there. Grab that. To the hunting lodge. Wait, um... Hold up. One sec. I'll be right back.
<sighs> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, let's jump right back into it. Got mail. Turn to Darth Savick. Commander, good. The king is attempting to rally support for an invasion of the capital. Uh -huh. Your efforts were beyond successful. My plan unfolds precisely as scheduled. The king will rejoin us momentarily. There we go. Having realized I can he see my mouse the too. Support to reclaim his palace. He will ramble about traitors, demand the blood of his enemies, and remind us yet again that he is king. Then, with the simplest prodding, he will realize where to acquire the troops he needs. What do you have in mind? Imperial reinforcements? More support from the Alliance? Neither, actually. Observe. Traitorous! Cowardly! Ah, I want them all dead! Nabet, the nobles, my worthless bannermen, the Republic, all of them! Dear King, surely your allies rallied to your cause. Some did, and they will receive a King's reward. But far too few. We cannot take the capital with such a small force. I only wish the Empire could provide more aid in these dark times. No one else on this world has the strength to challenge the nobles and their off-world comrades. It seems impossible to believe. Hmm. No. Oh, Onderon's strength is not yet lost. There is one group. They've hated the nobles for years. Tried to undermine all relations with off-worlders. I always dismiss them as backward and paranoid, but perhaps they were right all along. Uh, about the Republic, that is. They are known as the Untamed. Their leader is a beast lord, a Kuru. He's a keeper of Andoran's old ways, but he will not join us easily. Please, King Petrith. If we cannot supply the troops you so badly need, at least allow us to win this ally for you. A Kuru and his Untamed are proud and stubborn. They have no more love for me than the nobles. I'm not sure how you could secure their allegiance. Hmm. Leave it to me, King Petrif. I'm certain I can persuade them to join your cause. Oh, very good. Very well, then. You have proven your skill in battle. Let us see your skill in bargaining. I will prepare myself for war. Good fortune to you, friends. <laughs> All too easy. The Untamed are Onderon's only other major group. Once they're weakened by joining this attack, they will pose no further threat to Imperial operations. There is a proper way to seek an audience with them. An old ritual. They love old rituals. Excellent. And one more thing. I've learned that Akoru's elder brother, Brutan, once trained as a Sith. He died fighting Republic forces on Hoth. The rest of the Untamed aren't aware of Brutan's service. To leave Onderon and serve off-worlders would be abhorrent to them. Perhaps a useful bit of leverage over Akoru. Perhaps. I'll keep that in mind when I speak to him, thank you. Of course, I must finish preparing my own droids for the assault. It is best if any Imperial identifying components are removed. Good luck. Very well. Uh, can we swap our companion now? Yes, we can. Very good. All right, let me... I'm here. This too. Uh, this let's keep help. getting our... Scavenging? Let's get slicing up to 100. Sounds like a plan. I'll get right on it. Mission parameters set. Doing Luina Gully. You'll have it ASAP. Or 600, I mean. Alright, there we go. Leave the hunting lodge. We're just, like, walking out. Walk out the door. That's my only objective. I mean, I'll take that. 
almost to level 72. I guess we're better off just walking there. Reputation yeah, vendor. Like. Pair cell. Sure. Come again. Two forty six. All right. We haven't got really any new. Here recently. Trying to follow the path. Here we are. And left. Right. So we need to go through this cave. Central cave, uh, some diplomacy required. It's the mission. Travel to the untamed approach. I think it's at the end of the cave then. So I've been watching a lot of uh, the Clone Wars TV show since Disney Plus dropped with it. I watched the movie, just about done season one. So because of that, I kind of want to make a trooper again. It's I think the trooper is one of the last the classes I played. But um, like when I was doing all the original characters uh, storylines. So I think I would make like a trooper from fresh scratch and go from there. Um, it's so let, let me try that again. This is the first signal on the path for the untamed. I think the beacon begins the trial of ceremony and sin signals the untamed a seek an audience. Destroying the beacon will be regarded as, as a severe insult. Alright, so we'll light it, I guess. Is he actually stuck as my companion? Oh, shoot. I have to bring him out again. Alright, so light the ceremonial beacons. Oh, we could easily could have taken our uh, car instead, or the uh, mount. Yar, why are you barking? Huh? <laughs> hey, Moonshine BC. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing today? The alert notification should go off. Haven't seen it go off yet, though. Alright. Let's Time see. to meet a guru. Do what you need to bend him to our will. Just test this real quick. Yeah, it's working. I don't know why it didn't go off. Anyways, thank you, Moonshine. Appreciate it. Meet the leader of the untamed. Very well. My tweet literally just went out now, and Falsabot is spamming.
I need to change some of the timers. Like like they keep now? going off at the same time. Feeling a bit better now? Why does he keep asking that? East Lord Ak Akaru. The beacons are lit, and the ancient rites are observed. I am Akoru, Beast Lord of Onderon. You have shown your respect. Now speak your purpose here. King Petrif needs your warriors to help him attack the capital. We have heard of the king's squabbles with his nobles. Nothing on Onderon is hidden from this world's true masters. I'm not surprised that Petrif would seek outside help. His blade has never tasted the blood of his foes. But why should I help a fool against his enemies? I have no love for any of them. To prove your strength? What the? What happened? Out of range. A bit, uh, King we, I'm not so. But why should? I to prove your strength. This is your chance to prove you're stronger than Petrif and his enemies put together. Perhaps so. But do not enter another's home and tell them to prove their strength without proving yours. You have honored our traditions thus far. Honor them a final time, and I will consider your request. You will face my mightiest war beast in ritual combat. Very well. Then we will see what you are truly made of. Cross your lock. Feeding time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly a bit impressed. No, no, not that. The name, Crashalock. It's actually a pretty clever pun, if you speak ancient Onderonian. Anyway, L4. Oh, God. <laughs> 